forget to subscribe and share. Hi, I'm back with an all new series of Arduino programming with Peter Blocks. I suggest that you view my previous videos on scratch programming first. I'll be using Pictoblox for this tutorial series because it has a great support for Arduino. Stempedia has a great introduction video on this link. Let's start by getting familiar with Arduino's digital inputs. If you like to see an introduction video to Arduino, let me know via comments. Time to have some fun. Let's build our own gamepad to play our scratch games. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram. The link to download this image is in the description. Print out if possible. Things you are going to need for this project are an Arduino Uno board, a breadboard, two push button switches and two 10 kilo ohms resistors. Oh and a few jumper wires as well. Let's wire these components according to the circuit diagram. We start by placing the two switches on the breadboard. Make sure you got the correct orientation. Next, we place the two resistors between the top left pins of the switches and the negative rail. Negative rail is normally marked with a minus sign and colored in black or blue. We need to connect other pins on the top side of the positive power rail using two jumper wires. Now we need to place jumper wires on the left bottom pins of the switches. These will be connected to the Arduino board later. I'm going to connect the top and bottom power rails together and then connect the bottom rails to the Arduino. I did this because I ran out of long jumper wires. Let's connect the left button wire to pin 8 of the Arduino board. The right button wire goes to pin 2. Finally, we connect positive railing wire to the Arduino's 5V pin and negative to the ground pin. All done. Well, that wasn't scary as we thought. Let's connect the Arduino board to our computer using the USB cable. Launch Pictoblocks on your computer. Click on the board menu and select Arduino Uno from its list. Whoa, so many new blocks that we can use in our projects. Cool. Now we need to tell Pictoblocks to connect to our Arduino board. Click on connect menu and select the connect button on the dialog box. The last thing we need to do here is installing the required software to the Arduino board. We can do this easily by clicking on the upload firmware button. The hard part is over. It's only coding from here onwards. We are going to start with a start block and a forever loop as usual. Inside the loop, we need an if then block. As the condition, we are going to use a new block called read status of digital pin. This block turns true if selected pin is on, which means this turns true if we press the button on pin 2. So, let's move Toby by 10 steps to the left here. Do the same thing to the pin 8. Just duplicate the blocks and change as needed. Let's try this out. If all the hardware and wiring is correct, we should be able to move Toby using these buttons. Yay! I knew it will work. Who needs a keyboard to play games now? Let's use what we learned earlier and make this better. If you like, you can even develop this into a real game as well. We can use digital pins as we learned here to give input to the Arduino. We can use these pins to give us outputs as well. But those will be covered in our future videos. You can download this project and related assets on the link I have mentioned in the descriptions. 
Don't forget to share your cool projects on my Facebook page. That's it for today then. I will see you next week with a brand new video on how to use sensors. Bye bye. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon. It will help me continue creating videos like this in the future.